I drove up to um, I guess it's around 2,000 meters and um, it's about as far as you can go with the car the family of uh, Julie has a shared cabin here with some uh, other families and uh, gonna go there it's about five minute walk ten minute walk and then past the cabin is a really nice area with um, yeah with a forest we're just just above the tree line actually so you kind of on the edge of the forest but there's a nice little stream and the mountains and the views are, are really sick it's about three o'clock right now sun should be going behind the mountain around five and then between five and six is a really nice moment for some uh, maybe some drone uh, shots and photos whatever the lights gonna be really nice the trees are really coloring right now when I entered the forest below it was all green and when you go higher it gets yellow and super super nice so um, I hike to the cabin, have a look there, and then hike a little further and uh, brought a picnic. So I have to bring a picnic. We're in Switzerland. On the other side of the mountain, there's uh, the summer pastures. I don't know if you say it like that. The summer fields of the cows of the family. So they're actually pretty high up, and they uh, yeah maintain the grass fields over there. Up there, we have the barrage de Grand Dixence, which is a huge dam. When it was built, I will look it up, and it's uh, been bringing quite a lot of wealth here. First of all, when it was built, it was a lot of labor needed, and now the municipality still profits from the revenues of the electricity generated by the dam. And we actually live down that side, down in the valley lower 1200 meters there's a couple of nice mountains around here to hike there's a trail down there to go along which I'll probably do right now since there's still quite a lot of light left then I'll come back here and uh, throw the drone in the air
Yeah, the sun uh, is going to go behind the mountain in just half an hour, I think. So I'm just going to enjoy the peace and quiet for a moment before I open a beer. Today I'm gonna try and make a little desk at the window because it um, can be a bit cold here on the table when I work on my laptop and uh, the view is just super nice at the window. And when it's good weather I want the desk to be able to be put on the uh, window so that it sticks out a little bit of the, the window and that uh, Björn the cat can uh, and chill on that uh, platform too so it's a little project I got myself into and uh, got some materials from the hardware store like some saws and a aluminum strip to um, hold the table in place because it needs to be removable too and easily removable so uh, let's see uh, how that works out So this is where I'm going to build a little desk and I want to be able to lift it up and put it on top of here so there's a nice little platform for uh, Bjorn. And the plank I bought is just slightly too long, it's 80 by 40 and it needs to be 60 by 40 so I have to take off a piece don't have the perfect tools to do it but I have uh, mediocre tools to do it so hope I can make it look pretty okay. Thank you. 
Kom. Kom, Drolly. Or I have to stand like this uh, the whole time. So I made a little U profile on the table and I did the same on the wall just the other way around and uh, idea is you just hang it in there I think it's gonna work actually and then we put two legs underneath with a little corner frame B to prevent them from moving that way or that way. And the uh, wall will prevent it from, and the weight pushing down from going any other direction in theory. These are the corner uh, profiles that I made. So hopefully the pole is gonna stick in like that. Need to lose another uh, three centimeters. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw two pieces of wood next to each side of the leg too, so that it cannot move down there neither. Apart from that, it's pretty okay. moves a little bit in that corner so maybe if I unscrew the screw a bit there it becomes more tight
I'm here a little bit up the road from our house towards the dam and um, it's been raining all day but it's super nice actually the clouds are just swirling around the mountain so I was trying to get a drone shot here I was hoping for an in-between showers moment to um, fly the drone because it cannot handle rain obviously um, yeah so I'm just kind of waiting until there's a break in the rain and then I'm hoping to fly the drone because there's a really nice winding road here leading up to the dam and I've been wanting to take top-down shot of that road for quite a while so I'm just gonna sit here and wait and hope for the best and if not I'd take some nice shots of the the rain and the trees and the mountains from the car with the normal uh, camera still raining but it seems to be raining slightly less right now I'm just gonna go for it it's tricky it's still raining putting the drone on the roof I think we're in the air drone is pretty fucking soaked hope it's gonna survive I stayed in the air for way too long because it was so beautiful so I'm gonna dry this off and see what we got <laughs> 